Where have I been, you ask? Well, I've been right here. Yes, I've been uncharacteristically silent for a bit over a week. Um, you haven't really seen postings on Facebook or reply or information. You haven't seen any videos for a while. In fact, the last video I did, it, it had been done a few days prior. <clears throat> and some of you have noticed I've gotten a number of messages asking, am I okay? And one of the messages brought up, what do you do in Ecuador when you don't know people and you're all alone if something seriously happens and uh, people find you dead a week later? What, how does that work? Well, I don't plan on dying anytime soon and I don't really know. That's, that's a good question. But right now I just want to answer the question, concerns of those who seem to be truly concerned and those who are just curious, yeah, what the hell, I might as well. Um, in doing these videos, I've always been a very private person doing these videos. It's getting easier to talk about things that in the past I would never bring up, or I would never mention, I would never discuss. So I'm going to bring up something that I've been struggling with for a few years. Um, as everyone pretty much knows, unless you're a new viewer, I was seriously sick. I was on death's door. They thought I was going to die. And uh, as, as uh, the radiation technologist put it, it was a miracle from God. It certainly was unexpected and wonderful that everything kind of went back to normal and disappeared and no more treatments. With the exception of, from the VA, it's two medicines that work together right here. I have to take these and I have 10 more months of taking these. I've been taking these, well, it'll be a total of three years. Or is it nine more months? I don't know. I've got more time. Basically till, till I run out. The downside of these is every Every side effect you could possibly think of probably come with these. And there are no alternatives. They are what they are, and there's no substitutes. There's, you either take them or you don't take them. I tried not taking them. It's not a good idea. But unfortunately, I am susceptible to pretty much every side effect that they warn about. Now, I don't know if that's usual or unusual. In the past, I'll take medication, I'll see these various side effects, and I never get them. But in these, I get all of them. And the side effects can be so bad at times that, you, you, should I not take them? We, you, you know, I've struggled with that. So my Ecuador doctor here, uh, who actually practiced in New York City for a lot of years and came back here to where his original family is from. Uh, very knowledgeable guy. But I explained to him the situation. He was, he was actually well aware of it. Uh, and he suggested I take the Ecuador version. Now these are capsules that have both drugs in one. The downside is these cost fifty dollars a month and the ones from the VA I receive here free of charge. So I tried these. I tried these for a year and a half. I just kept hoping. But it's no better. So I, I'm just, you know, I'm throwing money away. So I went back to the to the VA medicine. If I don't take them for a few days and I start taking the, them again, I get sick as a dog. Now, I won't name all of the symptoms, but some of the symptoms are zero energy. I mean, it's unbelievable chore just to get up out of a chair. It's really difficult to walk around. 
I've made a point this past week to walk a mile and a half every day. Normally that's nothing. Uh, it's been extremely exhausting. I've had no energy to do pretty much anything. I, you know, I get the dishes done and, and that's about it. Um, you have a fever and you just carry the fever. It feels like you have the flu, your whole body aches, but you don't have the flu. Um, you, just, you just feel like crap. Now I haven't had these symptoms in about four or five months. I thought maybe I'd escape them, but they came back and they hit me with a vengeance. And when I get these symptoms, they're typically three days to maybe 10 days. And they, they really kind of put you out of commission. And that's what's been going on. I've just been, I've just been miserable and not in the mood to do anything, not feeling capable of doing much of anything. I've forced myself to do certain things but it's, uh, you know, I know what it is and I know that if I just kind of wait it out, I'll be fine. Now, as of today, I've been feeling much better. So I think I'm past it. But they affect a lot of things. They affect uh, certain uh, physical characteristics, uh, desire. There's all kinds of things that will affect sometimes it'll spin me into a little depression um, that never really lasts long i'm such a positive person <laughs> by nature that when things like that hit i i managed to be able to handle that fairly well so does any of this make any difference to you well, probably not um, i did want to respond to those that asked and i wanted to give a little explanation because I've had these spells in the past where I stop making videos and I kind of disappear for a while and I never really explained it and so I keep getting certain people are, are, are asking, so now I'm telling you, this is what it is. It's nothing to worry about, it's nothing to be concerned with, it's just the nature of it. I, you know, if I take that medicine, I have to do it. You know, if you drink too much, you're going to have a hangover. Um, you know, just one thing follows another. Fortunately, I don't have that much longer that I have to cope with this stuff. And in a lot of ways, I've felt much better on this medicine uh, lately, so I'm thankful and blessed for that. So if I get a, you know, backtracking spell once in a while, it's that's the way it is. Uh, so I'm not crying about it. Uh, I just don't want you to worry about it. I will give some thought and I will ask anybody watching this video if you have any experience of being here in Ecuador and if something has actually happened where you needed help and how you managed to get that help. Uh, I imagine a lot of people are so involved in social media they might just put out a word and I think there's enough good people here that would mobilize and act on that and you know come to your address and knock on your door and yeah you know, I think that would you know I think that would work pretty well and I mentioned the app the ECU 911 where there's English speakers and they will track your cell phone and they'll come to you um, you know I think that's also you know maybe the best way to go but I think it's probably not a lot different than if you were in the United States and you move to a different state and you don't know a lot of people but you've got some workmates or acquaintances that you've run into and if something happened there what would you do? Uh, I don't think there's really much difference. The language barrier is certainly a barrier but it's not, uh, I mean if somebody has a real health issue I, I think it's going to be recognized and people are going to act on that. So. Um, so just to let you know, everything's okay, not to worry. Um, I'll, be, I'll be back at it and um, making some videos. I've got some topics suggested by you. Please you know, keep doing that, any messages. Uh, there is a person that keeps uh, messaging me about calling. I haven't even been able to do the phone call, but I, I will get to that this coming week. Uh, don't worry, I'll be there. 
and uh, to another that I promised you're coming over and we're going to make empanadas the Colombian way. We are going to do that. I want to do it this week. I can't wait to do it. Uh, so we'll set up a time this this week. Sorry I couldn't last week and uh, I can't explain how the lack of energy affects me but I didn't even want to type. Anyway, thanks for asking. Thanks for being concerned and I'll see you soon. You know you could.